the third generation partnership project is a collaboration between groups of telecommunications associations, known as the organizational partners. The initial scope of 3GPP was to make a globally applicable third generation mobile phone system specification based on evolved global system for mobile communications specifications within the scope of the International Mobile Telecommunications 2000 project of the International Telecommunication Union. The scope was later enlarged to include the development and maintenance of the global system for mobile communications including GSM evolved radio access technologies and enhanced data rates for GSM evolution, an evolved third generation and beyond mobile system based on the evolved 3GPP core networks, and the radio access technologies supported by the partners. An evolved IP multimedia subsystem developed in an access independent manner, 3GPP standardization encompasses radio core network and service architecture. The project was established in December 1998 and should not be confused with Third Generation Partnership Project 2, which specifies standards for another 3G technology based on IS-95, commonly known as CDMA 2000. The 3GPP support team is located at the European Telecommunications Standards Institute headquarters in Sofia and Tipolis. History the third generation partnership project initiative eventually arose from a strategic initiative between Nortel Networks and AT&T Wireless. In 1998 AT&T Wireless was operating an AS-136 wireless network in the United States. In 1997 Nortel Networks Wireless at and d Center in Richardson, Texas, the wireless division of Bell Northern Research had developed a vision for an all-internet protocol wireless network that went under the internal name CellWeb. As the concept progressed, Nortel launched the industry vision as wireless internet. AT&T Wireless, poised to evolve its network in the United States, took a strong interest in wireless internet and its promise of internet protocol. Within 12 months or so, AT&T launched a global initiative that they named 3Gibraltar Pounds, a third-generation wireless standard that was natively Internet Protocol based. Initially, principal participants included British Telecom, France Telecom, Telecom Italia, and Nortel Networks, but were eventually joined by NTT Ducomo, Bell South, Telenor, and Lucent, Ericsson, Motorola, Nokia, and others. A 3 Gibraltar Pound Standards Forum was instituted and standards began to be developed. The forum progressed in the 2000 time frame, up until AT&T Wireless and British Telecom formed a strategic partnership project to facilitate global roaming between US and European markets. With this business arrangement, GSM, the prevailing European standard was adopted as the basis of AT&T Wireless Network Evolution for North America. Very specifically, this included the deployment of GSM data capabilities, that is GPRS, Edge, and its evolution to UMTS. With this, the original acronym 3 Gibraltar Pounds morphed into 3GPP, a third-generation partnership project for defining the next-generation wireless network that was fundamentally capable of supporting Internet Protocol-based wireless communications. 3GPP became the industry standards forum that defined UMTS and more recently LTE. Organizational partners, the six 3GPP organizational partners are from Asia, Europe and North America. Their aim is to determine the general policy and strategy of 3GPP and perform the following tasks, the approval and maintenance of the 3GPP scope, the maintenance of the partnership project description take the decision to create or cease a technical specification groups, and approve their scope and terms of reference. The approval of organizational partner funding requirements. The allocation of human and financial resources provided by the organizational partners to the project coordination group. Act as a body of appeal on procedural matters referred to them. Together with the market representation partners perform the following tasks the maintenance of the partnership project agreement, the approval of applications for 3GPP partnership, take the decision against a possible dissolution of 3GPP, market representation partners, the 3GPP organizational partners can invite a market representation partner to take part in 3GPP, which, 
has the ability to offer market advice to 3GPP and to bring into 3GPP a consensus view of market requirements falling within the 3GPP scope. Does not have the capability and authority to define, publish and set standards within the 3GPP scope, nationally or regionally. Has committed itself to all or part of the 3GPP scope. Has signed the partnership project agreement. As of November 2013 the market representation partners are, standards, 3GPP standards are structured as releases. Discussion of 3GPP thus frequently refers to the functionality in one release or another. Each release incorporates hundreds of individual standards documents, each of which may have been through many revisions. Current 3GPP standards incorporate the latest revision of the GSM standards. The documents are available freely on 3GPP's website. While 3GPP standards can be bewildering to the newcomer, they are remarkably complete and detailed, and provide insight into how the cellular industry works. They cover not only the radio part and core network, but also billing information and speech coding down to source code level. Cryptographic aspects are also specified in detail. 3GPP2 offers similar information about our system. Specification groups The 3GPP specification work is done in technical specification groups and working groups. There are four technical specifications groups GERAN GERAN specifies the GSM radio technology, including GPRS and EDGE. It is composed of three working groups. RAN, RAN specifies the UTRAN and the EUTRAN. It is composed of five working groups. ZAR, SA specifies the service requirements and the overall architecture of the 3GPP system. It is also responsible for the coordination of the project. SA is composed of five working groups. CT, CT specifies the core network and terminal parts of 3GPP. It includes the core network. Terminal Layer 3 protocols. It is composed of four working groups. The 3GPP structure also includes a project coordination group, which is the highest decision making body. Its missions include the management of overall time frame and work progress. Standardization process 3GPP standardization work is contribution driven. Companies participate through their membership to a 3GPP organizational partner. As of April 2011, 3GPP is composed of more than 370 individual members. Specification work is done at WG and at TSG level, the 3GPP WGs hold several meetings a year. They prepare and discuss change requests against 3GPP specifications. A change request accepted at WG level is called agreed, the 3GPP TSGs hold plenary meetings quarterly. The TSGs can approve the change requests that were agreed at WG level. Some specifications are under the direct responsibility of TSGs and therefore, change requests can also be handled at TSG level. The approved change requests are subsequently incorporated in 3GPP specifications. 3GPP follows a three-stage methodology as defined in ITUT Recommendation I-130. Stage 1 specifications define the service requirements from the user point of view. Stage 2 specifications define an architecture to support the service requirements. Stage 3 specifications define an implementation of the architecture by specifying protocols and details. Test specifications are sometimes defined as Stage 4, as they follow Stage 3. Specifications are grouped into releases. A release consists of a set of internally consistent set of features and specifications. Time frames are defined for each release by specifying freezing dates. Once a release is frozen, only essential corrections are allowed. Freezing dates are defined for each stage. The 3GPP specifications are transposed into deliverables by the organizational partners. Deployment 3GPP systems are deployed across much of the established GSM market. They are primarily released SIG systems, but as of 2010, growing interest in HSPA Plus and LTE is driving adoption of Release 7 and its successors. Since 2005, 
three GPP systems were seeing deployment in the same markets as three GPP2 systems. With LTE the official successor to 3GPP2's CDMA systems, 3GPP-based systems will eventually become the single global mobile standard. See also, Universal Mobile Telecommunications System, 3GPP Long-Term Evolution, Evolution to 3G, IP Multimedia Subsystem, 3GP, 3GPP2, the 3GPP's counterpart in the CDMA 2000 sphere. GSM services, telecoms and Internet converged services and protocols for advanced networks, Open Mobile Alliance, Service Layer, European Telecommunications Standards Institute, References. External links, 3GPP website, 3GPP standards list of acronyms and terminology, 3GPP freely published, detailed technical specifications, 3GPP releases descriptions, ETSI GSM UMTS 3GPP numbering cross-reference, TSTR, specification numbering, tool for visualizing multiple interrelated 3GPP standards, tool for visualizing, decoding, encoding network protocol messages defined by 3GPP.